frequent television host whose latest book is currently number one on the New York Times bestseller list. It's a touching novel called The Christmas Sweater, but most of it is autobiographical. Recently, I talked with Glenn about his personal story, the economy, and what lies ahead for America under a new administration. Watch this. Millions of Americans love talk show personality Glenn Beck. His quick wit and candid opinions have made him a hit on the radio, and his popular CNN TV show moves to Fox News in January. Now, just in time for the holidays, Glenn Beck shares a story about the greatest gift in life, one that can't be bought no matter how much money you have. This Christmas, number one New York Times best-selling author Glenn Beck presents a new holiday classic about family, faith, and most of all, forgiveness. The Christmas Sweater, in bookstores everywhere, right now. It's so good to have you with us. Welcome. Thank you, sir. Good to see you. I've seen you in that conservative talk show, and I can't visualize you as a hip rock and roll DJ, but you were. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you didn't know me back in no, the old days. Yeah, yeah. Not a, just a totally different guy back then. Were you? Were you, oh, you yeah. a screaming rocker? I mean, you were. Yeah, I was a hard living, hard drinking. I'm a recovering alcoholic. I did yeah. drugs most of my life. I was in the 90s. I hit bottom. I lost my family and suicidal and doctor gave me six months to live and I turned my life around. And, you don't mean uh, it. Yeah. You were all those things. Oh yeah. Yes, sir. And uh, uh, in 2000, uh, I dedicated my, uh, I dedicated my life to uh, the Lord and uh, yeah. he has been great, great to me. He what has been so amazing. profoundly good. Well, what a transformation. I oh, mean, yeah. that, that's a miracle of God's yeah, grace. It is amazing. Well, it is amazing. That's marvelous. Thank you, sir. This book, by the way, you wrote called uh, Christmas Sweater. I, I frankly confess I haven't finished it, but you are such a talented writer. It's a Thank you. moving story. Thank you. I, I can't wait for you to um, read, especially the end and the yeah. and the, the last chapter is called How It Begins, and it's um, it's uh, just how at the end of things, mm -hmm. if you. If you really understand the real gift of Christmas, if you understand that it's all about the atonement, mm -hmm. um, now everything begins. Yeah. And uh, I, I can't wait for you to read that book. Well, I'm going to look forward to it. Yeah. It's fascinating. It's, it's a marvelous story it, it, from the very get go. Autobiographical or just partly so? Uh, no, it is um, pretty darn close. It's probably about 90%. Um, You're the son of a baker? Oh, yes. Were oh, you yeah. really? Yeah. And just outside of uh, Seattle, like a little town called Mount Vernon, Washington. Yeah. My dad was a baker and uh, just an amazing man. And, and um, that last Christmas with my mom, she gave me a sweater. And a lot of mm. the events that happened there, um, you know, it was the year that I found out that I was poor or that we were poor, you know, mm -hmm. growing up. Yeah. It's not like it is today. We didn't know if you were poor or rich. You just, you just were, yeah, yeah. you know, and, um, and uh, I didn't, uh, I didn't appreciate what my mother did to, to be able to get that sweater to me for Christmas. And it wasn't the gift that I wanted. And, um, I, after that Christmas morning, I took it upstairs and I just thoughtlessly just, you know, put it on the floor, threw it on the floor. And, and, uh, she came in and she looked at me and she had tears in her eyes and she said, is that your Christmas sweater? And uh, it was at that point that I could see her, what she did for that sweater. She had to knit the thing herself. Or yeah, right. and it was, um, it was a, it was, it shouldn't have surprised me, but it did, you know? Mm -hmm. And um, it wasn't, it, she, she died shortly thereafter. Oh. And uh, you couldn't uh, get over it. No, and it was, it's what took my life into another course because then mistake after mistake started piling up on top of each other. And by the time I was 35, Pat, I couldn't find my way out. Uh, you know, I, I, this is the story that put me down on the floor in the fetal position wanting to kill myself by the time I was 35. This is the, my biggest shame. Yeah. And now it's on nightstands all across America and it's my biggest joy. Not the book, but the, but the journey to know that mm -hmm. redemption isn't something that a preacher says. Isn't it's what real. God does. He, he takes the, the hard parts of our life and, and makes it into something beautiful. You know, I, I, um, in 2000, I, um, I, I got baptized and I, I stood in the water and I was so desperate. I couldn't do it anymore. And I, I stood in the water and I remember almost shouting at him in my head mm -hmm. and saying, I can't do it anymore. Mm 
-hmm. And you have promised me that if I do the things you tell me to do, you will take all of this away. You cease to be God if you don't keep up your side of the bargain. And my life changed on that day. He is wonderful Mm -hmm. because he's handcuffed to his promises. It's up to you. <laughs> you, you. You put it to him. He's, he's, on, he's on record. He's got oh, to. Yeah. He's, he's got, got to. to perform. He has to. Otherwise, he ceases to be God. Otherwise, he's not real. It's amazing. Yeah. Amazing. You uh, were doing uh, uh, rock and roll radio. You went into, well, when you were a kid, I mean, you were like 13 or 14. And, yeah, and 13 years old. 13 years old. Well, this story here, you were 12? Yeah. This is, this is the story of the last Christmas of my mom, and then um, she died shortly after. In the, in the uh, book, it's a car accident, but in real life, um, she committed suicide. And, um, mm. and then I immediately grew up, and I went to work at 13 years old mm-hmm. and, um, and just went on that path. And it took me into some dark, dark places. And... Uh, well, you know, thank God you've come out into the light. I'm too yeah. thrilled.